Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, get ready for an extreme two day whole house deep clean. And when I say deep clean, I mean it. I have so much jam packed into this video, it's unbelievable. I started out on day one of this cleaning by cleaning my downstairs area. It was a little bit after dinner and it was time to pick things up while my husband was taking care of my kids. So I had a lot of cleaning to do and then I'm going to be sharing a grocery haul with you. And then on day two of this extreme clean, that's when the real cleaning is going to start because I'm going to be deep cleaning my bathroom. It is March, which means I am in spring cleaning mode and I am picking one room throughout the house every single week to truly deep clean. And when I say deep clean, I mean it. I'm going to be scrubbing the floors, scrubbing grout, scrubbing the tracking of the windows that we have in our bathroom, light fixtures, and everything else. I cannot wait to share all of this deep and satisfying cleaning with you. I'm also going to be sharing some techniques and some tools to make cleaning much easier on you. It's springtime and I know you have a lot of cleaning to do as well, so let's do it, let's do it right. I hope I can make it a little bit easier on you. What I hope is that today, as you're watching my video, I hope I can give you a little bit of motivation and get up and do at least one thing. I understand how it feels when you're just sitting there and you're overwhelmed. You have a to-do list that's a mile long and you don't even know where to start. So what I want you to do is after you're done watching this video, get up and do one thing, that's it. Just do one thing and I'm gonna bet that after you do that one thing, you'll feel more motivated to do more things. Every single week you come back here, I'm going to bring you motivating videos to help you get things done. I promise we are going to do this together little by little. Before I get on to the rest of the video, I do want to mention that today's video is in collaboration with Lindsay from Lindsay's Life and Style. She is also doing a whole house clean with me, so you get double dose of cleaning motivation today. Lindsay has been one of my friends from the very beginning of my YouTube journey. I am not lying to you. We did a collaboration way back early on, and she is just one of the most genuinely nice girls here on YouTube, and her channel is super motivating. She is a she does it all. She has her YouTube channel, balances raising kids and being a wife. And one of my favorite things about Lindsay is her positive attitude. Her smile is gorgeous and she always puts a smile on my face when I see her face. She is always positive and encouraging. So head on over to her channel. I will have her channel and her video linked down below. If you're coming over from Lindsay's channel, I want to go ahead and introduce myself. I am Jamie from Jamie's Journey. I work outside of the home full time. I also run my YouTube channel, which is more like a full time job these days. I am wife to Mike and he is my high school sweetheart. We are raising three girls, Avery, who is my oldest. She is four, almost five, and my twins who are almost a year old here in a couple of weeks. We struggled with infertility and after years of miscarriage and not being able to get pregnant, we were blessed with two beautiful rainbow babies. So here on my channel, I hope that you will find a community where we can motivate each other and inspire each other. My goal is to help you in some way. I want to help you be productive. No matter how it looks on social media or here on YouTube, life is not easy for anyone. But we are in this together and I'm going to help you get through those tough times and come out feeling productive. I 
So I don't know if you guys know, but March is my birthday month. I just had my birthday on March 2nd. I turned 34. So I want to know what month were you born in? It's March, and at least here in the United States, we are getting ready for spring, which means a lot of deep cleaning going on in my house. And every single week, when I bring out a new video of deep cleaning, I'm going to try to show you how I can clean, show you the specific techniques and the products that I use. And the goal is to try to make cleaning easier for ourselves. We need to make sure that cleaning doesn't take super long. And hopefully I can show you and help you do that. So make sure you're a subscriber, make sure you have the notification bell turned on so you get notified every single week so we can spring deep clean together. This is a little hack that I've shared so many times on my channel, but every time I do, you guys are blown away by it. All I did was take a butter knife and wrapped around a wipe. You can use a baby wipe, a disinfecting wipe, and it allows you to get into any cracks or hard to reach areas. So you can see everything I was able to get out of the crack between my countertop and my stove. I cannot wait for you to see how I deep clean my bathroom. You guys, if you want to see dirty, I'm going to be showing you dirty. I am talking real dirt that you're going to see. It was just so crazy, but also very satisfying at the same time. I pulled out vents in the bathroom, vents that had caked on dust. I cleaned window trackings that were full of dirt. I used a toothpick to get into the corners of my baseboards. So stay tuned for some incredibly satisfying cleaning coming up. I would love to have you come over, find me on Instagram, come say hi. You can get to know me a little bit better, more on a personal level. It's not full of cleaning or organizing, but more of my day-to-day -day life. I will have it linked down below. So come find me and say hi. So I recently got this new steam mop and I've been using it a ton lately. I love it. So I'm curious for you guys, do you prefer a traditional mop or do you prefer a steam mop or do you like something super simple and easy like a Swiffer? I've honestly been going back and forth between this steam mop and then my O Cedar spin mop. I've been using the steam mop probably more frequently just because it's new and it's fun to use new things but I have been going back and forth between the traditional mop and the steam mop. But let me know which type of mop you prefer. If you guys are new here and you didn't know, I just filmed a three-part decluttering and organizing series here on my channel. All three videos just went up and it felt so good to spend some quality time decluttering and organizing my entire kitchen. I also included a couple of amazing game changing cleaning hacks in those videos one for the stove and one for the shelves in my refrigerator and both of the hacks will help you clean both of those areas in a super easy way so you don't have to work too hard so if you want to check out those videos i will have them linked below in the description so you can check them out when you're done watching this video but i am telling you you need to go watch So 
So Mike was hanging out with the girls while I was cleaning up downstairs after dinner and then I wanted to get both of the kids' rooms picked up before they went to bed and then Mike was going to go and pick up some groceries. So I ran upstairs and while Mike was with the babies, I pulled Avery into her room so we could clean up that whole area and then I was going to put the babies to bed and while well, Mike went and got the groceries and then I was going to finish up the downstairs later on. You can totally tell Addison is our sleeper. Well, both girls are really good sleepers, but Addison is the one who needs her sleep and she always conks out before Emery. You be quiet. Sissy sleeping. You be quiet, okay? You. Mommy's gotta clean up this mess. Okay, so Mike just ran to pick up some groceries from Walmart. We did a late night Walmart grocery pickup and I thought, why not? I'd show you guys what I got really quickly before I finish up my night of cleaning. Okay, so starting here, ground turkey. We make a lot of turkey tacos. I'm actually using this for a burrito bowl recipe that I make in the Instant Pot. Um, buns for some barbecue chicken that we're gonna be that was frozen and we're gonna be eating up this week. Bread, peanuts, some salsa for my burrito bowl, and some chicken tacos I'm gonna make for freezer meals. Tortellini, Avery loves tortellini. These, these Happy Kid mango and sweet potato bars. So I actually got these for Avery and she likes them. We have, we've had a couple of different flavors before and the girls, the babies actually ended up liking them. They're not super soft, but they're not too hard for them. We just cut them in super small pieces and the babies really enjoyed them. So these bars, all three girls can eat. Ice drinks, Mike really likes these. Taco seasoning. Um, Mouthwash, I got these uh, vitamins for Avery. I was gonna get some at Costco when I was there, but since the babies aren't taking vitamins, obviously, um, there's just no way we would go through like a Costco size of vitamins for her before they expired. So I just picked those up at Walmart. Some toothpaste for Avery. We've never had these before. They are veggie hash browns. Um, so there's no potatoes in them. It's all cauliflower. So we're gonna try these. The girls are gonna try them and I'm curious to see how good they are. I hope they like them. Cotton rounds to take my makeup off. Cheese sticks, the girls, the babies like these and so does Avery. Shredded cheese. I don't even know what these are. Mike gets these and he really likes them. So I don't know, pasta zero. Spaghetti shaped, 15 calories. I don't know if it's good. Um, I'll have to ask him but he he likes it apparently, because I know he's gotten these before. More granola bars for the babies as well. And I like these, as do those, because they don't make a mess. Um, specifically when you think of Avery, you know, sometimes she'll eat a granola bar as a snack and she's walking around and they can be crumbly. I don't want granola bars to be crumbly and these are not crumbly. So we've been getting these for years. Black beans, Powerade Zero. LaCroix, I love sparkling water. I like Spindrift the best, but LaCroix is my second favorite. These little containers of corn, and I like these for the girls, just so I don't have to open a full can. Um, and sometimes like if just the babies are gonna eat them, they'll just eat one of those containers. Limes, lemons, avocado, those are pretty much staples in every grocery run we go with. Bananas, another staple. We don't get this all the time, but I picked it up for Avery for tomorrow. Mike's gonna be gone, so it'll be a girl's night, and I always try to do something kind of special when it's just a girl's night. So I got one of these for her to eat for dinner. Probably make something else to go with it, but some blueberries and strawberries for the girls. 
yogurt. This is my favorite Greek yogurt. I like it because of the high protein and the no artificial sweeteners and no added sugar. So I eat one of these pretty much every day. Avery's favorite, the animals. These are yogurt smoothies. Um, and then some Dave's Killer Bread. I really like this bread. I make this almost every weekend with some eggs or this is really, really good for avocado toast. So that's why. Avocados, best toast bread to use for avocado toast. And then I needed some LED lights. These are the daylight light bulbs. I needed some, that's what I use in here. So it's nice and bright. So when I film, it looks nice and bright for you guys. So there you go. You get a little grocery haul with some cleaning. Um, let me know if you like seeing these grocery hauls because I can pop them in some videos when we go. But I'm gonna put all this stuff away, kind of organize it like I do in the kitchen. Or, I mean, I'm gonna kind of organize it like I usually do in the refrigerator and then keep on keeping on. I'm gonna finish my cleaning. So I don't know if this is a control thing or what, but I always like putting the groceries away because I don't like it when Mike puts them away because I feel like he doesn't put things away in the right or proper places. He doesn't keep things organized. And I know that sounds a little ridiculous, but he just tends to put things like he'll just throw it in the pantry or throw it in the refrigerator and he doesn't put things where they go. You know, I have my little systems of organization that I like and it helps me know what I have in there and where to look when I need something and he just doesn't put it away in the right areas. So I prefer to put the groceries away. Are you guys like that? Do you like to put the groceries away? away or does it not really matter to you? And then I came upstairs really quickly to pick up our bedroom and I wasn't doing anything crazy in here because it obviously wasn't that bad, wasn't too messy. I just wanted everything picked up from the floor and I wasn't going to make our bed because I was going to be getting into it here soon. And then when I was done with our room, I was going to have Mike take off the vents in our bathroom so I can clean those tonight before I woke up the next morning and got started on deep cleaning our bathrooms. And I'll admit that is something that I have never cleaned. Be my be all right. never cut it bite. Okay, so as soon as I like pulled this down, he handed it to me and I jumped and made a little scream. So I thought those were spiders. I have a huge, huge phobia of spiders. Naturally, when you have a phobia of spiders, any bug you see, you automatically think it's a spider. You guys know what I'm talking about? So let me know what your phobia is, like when it comes to bugs, or just let me know what your phobia is. I've always been scared of spiders. Any other bug I can deal with, like I could pick up like centipedes, but I can deal with anything else, like centipedes, anything else. Just not spiders, but luckily they were just flies. So to clean the vents at first, I grabbed a screwdriver, which happened to be right there since Mike had just used it to take off the vents. And I kind of stuck it in those little slots and was able to get a lot of the dust out that way. And at first I didn't want to get the vents wet because you know when you have a lot of dust on something and then you get it wet and the dust sticks to that item more. So at first I wasn't going to get it wet, but then I just tried it and it actually just took all of the dust off. It came straight off and it worked out really well to get a majority of the dust off by just using the screwdriver and then some hot water. And then I cleaned it and wiped it all off with my DIY cleaner of rubbing alcohol, dish soap, and water, and that seemed to do the trick.
All right, so it was day two, and as you can tell, I was feeling it. I was feeling good, and I was ready to clean. And I wanted to get the lights taken care of before I moved on to the rest of the bathroom. And I even wanted to get at the top of the mirror because I'm sure you saw there was a lot of dust building up on top. So if you've watched my videos in the past, a couple of weeks ago, I did get up here and clean. But you can kind of see there was already dust and a lot of dirt back up here. So it makes me realize that I probably need to get up here more often and clean it. To dust everything, like my blinds and the rest of the bathroom, I was using N-Dust, which is my favorite cleaner for blinds and baseboards. Now I'll admit, I do not like cleaning window tracking and I clearly do not clean them as often as, as they should be clean. But what I used was some vinegar to spray on there to loosen up all of the dirt. And then I took a cleaning toothbrush to get in there and all of the cracks and crevices. And then I would use some paper towels to wipe everything away. And honestly, I just kept repeating that system until most of the dirt was gone. We had spaghetti for dinner, which is one of my favorites. I always lean more towards like a red tomato based sauce for my pasta. So I'm curious from you guys, do you like a red sauce or a white sauce? Mike would pick a white sauce. He loves Alfredo, but I always go for the red. So let me know red or white sauce with your pasta. Keep To wipe down my mirrors and windows throughout the house and here in the bathroom, I'm using an e-cloth, which you probably saw me use on my stove top earlier, but I've been loving these cloths lately. They just clean. You just use that in water. So it's a special cloth and it has small, tiny fibers that attract dirt and bacteria, and they just truly are amazing. If you want to check them out, I will have a link in the video's description as well as a code for 10% off but they have cloths for all over your house for different areas different products so honestly I love them all and sometimes it's just nice to grab a cloth and put some water on it and be able to clean just let it go and trust me if you love me so it just isn't worth my time So to clean this windows tracking, I decided it would be easier to remove the screen. And can you guys see that dog hair floating around under the window? I don't know if you saw it, but if you didn't see it, you can rewind it in a few seconds and you just see dog hair floating because it apparently was just sitting in that room, um, which is so crazy and kind of embarrassing, but I guess that's what happens when you have a dog. But I will be taking care of that here in a minute when I'm done with all of the tracking. But removing the screen made it a lot easier to really get into all of the cracks and crevices of the window tracking. So I know it's really hard to tell on camera, but there was a lot of dog fur and cobwebs in the corners in this little room. And I've had a lot of you guys tell me that you like to see real dirt in my house. Now I'm aware that my house is not truly dirty. I've even had people say at times that I'm cleaning a clean house. And I understand my house is not truly dirty in the true sense of the word, but we are real people living here. So there are times where we let things go or things build up. So when I'm cleaning, I'm going to try to show you some of the real life dirt. And 
As I was getting ready to clean the baseboards, I realized that the top of the baseboards was kind of hard to clean, especially because there's some corners that's hard to reach when I'm doing this. And because I'm doing some true deep cleaning, some spring cleaning, I wanted to really get in there and clean it. So I grabbed a Q-tip to get into those corners on the baseboards and it really helped. So I know you really couldn't tell and I tried to show it on camera but it didn't really pick it up but there were certain areas on the wall that had watermarks and other scuffs on there so I just grabbed a rag and used some water in Dawn dish soap and it all came off and it didn't take off any of the paint which was a win. Then it was time to deep clean my shower and you have probably seen me use a variety of products in here and typically I don't use magic erasers but since I was deep cleaning I kind of wanted to do something that I don't normally do so I took a magic eraser and cleaned my entire master shower and I find that the magic eraser tends to get up stuff that other cleaning products don't so I like to go in there from time to time and use a magic eraser because it gets everything off. Don't forget to come over and follow me on Instagram. I truly love building a community over there, sharing more of my life other than cleaning. So come on over, find me. Even if you just wanna see some cute babies, you can come over and find me. I will have the Instagram link down below, but come over and say hi. But I've always felt that something's missing. That was until I found you right there in the crowd. You came into my life and started Let me know down below what you're planning on spring cleaning first or what you've already spring cleaned.
So lately to clean my grout, I've been using Resolve Foaming Carpet Cleaner and I've been using it so much that I actually need to get a new one because it's starting to run out. But I spray it on my grout in my bathroom and I let it sit while I go do something else. And then when I come back, I feel like I don't have to scrub as much because the carpet cleaner actually cleans my grout by itself and I really like it because the carpet cleaner just does most of the work and then I have to go in and I have to scrub a little bit but I feel like I don't have to scrub as much or as hard as I would if I was using another cleaner. So next I moved on to deep cleaning my girls bathroom and all of that dirt that you saw was from my Dyson. I had tried to empty the bin the night before and missed the garbage. It, it was kind of a mess. And so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna be deep cleaning this bathroom tomorrow. So I'll just leave it and take care of it tomorrow. But in here, I wanted to pretty much do the exact same thing as I did in our master bathroom. I wanted to clean the lights, the shower, the window, the grout, and the window tracking and the windows. And no so again if you need some decluttering and organizing motivation go check out my three-part series that i did on over in my kitchen. It's a set of videos that I'm really proud of and I just love how everything turned out. So again, I will have that all linked down below in the this video's description so you can go check it out and then go organize your kitchen. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. So after I left the Resolve foaming carpet cleaner sit for a little bit in our master bathroom grout, I went back over there to scrub that before I finished up the rest of the girls' bathroom. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I told myself that maybe he ain't worth it Too bad I hate advice Cause out of sight and out of mind is perfect It's so hard to decide
I know this looks pretty gross, but I needed to wipe around the base of the toilet. I find that's one area that a lot of people forget about, but I feel like if you don't wipe it down pretty well, it gets gross around the base of the toilet. So I wanted to go in there and really scrub that area down. I wanted to use my Rubbermaid power scrubber to get the faucets and you can kind of see all of the stuff that was falling out from under the faucets and this was something that I've done recently so I guess I should be doing it even more. But that's going to be it for this two-day extreme whole house deep clean with me. I have so much more cleaning coming up, so much spring cleaning. We are going to be doing it all, spring cleaning the entire house. So make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you have the notification bell turned on because we are going to get our houses clean and ready for the summer. Yeah.